Hold on. How did you get in? I can be quite persuasive. Best get out of here while the way is clear. Looks like you and my old man are one of a kind. Both weak. I'll be sure to tell him what you did for me. You should have more respect for your father. Hey! If it isn't the hero of the hour. I just heard from my son. I knew you wouldn't fail me. I appreciate the help. The Sith are the heart of the Empire, I always say. Anyway, we wanted to see you off. Uh, give you a pat on the back and uh, a little parting gift. You're too kind. Really. Safe travels, Sith. You have made a wonderful decision. Can I offer you anything? A drink? And don't mind Varnock and Sharnock. They never leave my side. Come to think of it, my lips are a bit parched. So trusting. So marvelously trusting. What I could accomplish on your behalf. My lord, please. Can Palladius really be trusted? Killing you will be such fun. <laughs> My people say someone ripped through Garbodia's camp. Can I spot talent or what? I trust you if... Ugh. If I knew his head was gonna stink this badly, I'd have given you a refrigeration unit. I brought Andronicus back. <laughs> you should stick with this one, Andronicus. You might learn a sense of humor. Look at I have a sense of humor. It's alright, huh? We wouldn't have worked out anyway. All that shouting and throwing stuff. Somebody was bound to get hurt. Yeah, right. Well, guess it's goodbye then. Good luck out there. Murder and mayhem await. <laughs> I get the feeling we're gonna make a damn good team, you and me. Lucky for you, I'm feeling generous, so I'm willing to make a deal. You have my complete, undivided attention. Here's what I propose. I give you the lightsaber, and you come work for me as my own personal Sith. That, or you pay me three million credits. Hard to believe. But you're actually dumber than you look. All right, then. You made your choice. Boys, kill the Sith. Look, I'll make you another deal, okay? I'll give you the lightsaber. You let me live. It's not like you could open the case anyway. The lightsaber. And you clear the Aeschylus girl's debts. Fine. Fine. I cancel the debts, and you can have your lightsaber. Just don't kill me. Well, now, there's two ways you can leave, Imperial. Cuffed down or feet first. All right, hold your gloating. Get it over with. Ask for mercy. I might grant it. I don't think I'd be convincing. No, from one of these devices, and our servants will come to your aid anywhere in the galaxy. Not just on Nar Shaddaa. You will give me the CN-12, and you will serve me. We will give you the CN-12. We will serve you. Please, let us join your cult. I just exploded, and nearly killed your master. Do you want me to take that chance? Um... Um, yes, my lord, right. Just don't mess anything up, and don't tell Thanaton we let you in. I can think of a few more entertaining ways to keep warm, officer. I... I well... Who turned up the thermal arrays? <laughs> duty first, Varric. Duty first. Or do you really think I have nothing better to do than chase a pair of low apprentices across the blasted galaxy? Now, as often happens when two Sith first meet, one of us isn't leaving this room alive. So I propose a toast. To the honorably defeated. I will gladly drink to your death, Lord. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Congratulations, Sith. You've broken into my home, butchered my assassins, and forced your way into my personal chambers. Can I at least offer you a drink before you start making demands? A drink would be nice. Excellent. People have so little time for hospitality these days. Now get out of my house! 
Yes, so sorry to interrupt. I hope your meeting with Lady Wrist went well. I think that should stay my little secret. Like I said, I'm very sorry to trouble you, but we have a problem on our hands, and you may be the only one who can solve it. If I had 50 credits for every time someone said that, there will be no survivors. That will work too! Here we are. It's just as I predicted. A mere tool of the Sith Empire, just like the beasts in House Thule, sent to wrench the throne of Alderaan away from those who rightfully possess it. That's not fear I smell, is it? Destroy this assassin men! Defend your king! Defend Alderaan! Save your mockery, Pantir. If your house were stronger, we wouldn't be here now. Not very diplomatic. For a king. He's a powerful creature, and he may still serve a purpose. The tunnel opens right under this room. What are we going to do? Murder and mayhem await. Yield, and you may keep your title and your lands. I would sooner see Alderaan blasted into space debris than given over to the Empire. The Kalejas just surrendered. None can contain us, not this prison, not the Republic, and certainly not these creatures. You'd still be the Eshkar's playthings, if not for me. We are the Dread Masters. Show your respect. You cannot scare me. Impossible. My lord, this force business is, no offense, insane. Lem, stop chewing on... Do I need to get out the penalty collar? <laughs> Apologies, my lord. Oh yes, this should complete my vaccine perfectly. We'll start mass producing it immediately. Just doing my part. You hear that, Lem? Our work here is done. Too bad there's nothing I can do about your condition. Oh well. I can always use a willing test subject.